Welcome to our review of the 2016 Audi A4 and to make it as comprehensive as possible we haven't just got the saloon we've got the estate Avant version as well. Don't say we don't spoil you. The A4 is of course a rival to the BMW 3 Series, Mercedes C-Class and Jaguar XE and this latest version's job is to build on Audi's reputation for high quality interiors, tasteful styling and fuel efficient engines. The A4 Saloon has the same amount of boot space as the 3 Series and C-Class, all of which beat the Jaguar, but in a state, guys, the Avant, it beats them all, albeit just a bit. What we do like about this car, though, is all models come with a powered boot lid, the parcel shelf lifts away, and these retaining clips and straps are really useful. Folding rear seats add to the practicality and give a flat floor to help with those longer loads. And in the rear, both the A4 Saloon and Avant offer ample leg and headroom for a couple of adults. Threes are squeezed though because the bench is narrow and there's a large transmission tunnel. If you're into premium technology brands, then you will love the A4's dash because Audi has really gone to town on this car. Not only do you get this screen here, but you can replace these dials with a virtual cockpit displaying, well, virtually anything that's over here. Plus, the whole cabin just feels so premium. The heater controls are ultra slick and we love this chunky gear lever borrowed from the Audi Q7 SUV. The result is a very classy interior with amazing attention to detail. But we do wonder if a few more design flourishes such as in the Mercedes C-Class would have livened it up a bit. We're starting today in the Estate, which is fitted with Audi's latest 2-litre turbocharged petrol engine. With 190 horsepower, it's a swift car getting from 0 to 60 in just 7.5 seconds. Yet, in official fuel economy tests, it returned 50 miles per gallon. In our hands, though, we've been lucky to get 30. We also wonder, for all its tractable torque delivery, if this engine sounds too weedy. Come on, Audi, a bit more of a meaty growl wouldn't have gone amiss. If you think the emissions scandal has ruined diesels forever, then look away now, because the 3 litre V6 fitted to this A4 saloon is a cracker. It's got 272 horsepower, gets the car from 0 to 60 in just 5.4 seconds, making our fuel economy of 47.9 mpg pretty respectable. With a few options though, this particular car is £50,000 which is crazy money for an A4. Better to stick, as most will, to the 2-litre Ultra unit, which provides the best blend of performance, cost and economy. In fact, with an official average of almost 70 miles per gallon, it just about makes the Audi the most fuel-efficient model in its class. Our other top tip is to stick with the SE or Sport models because these come with a more compliant suspension setup. Because the S line, well, it just feels a bit too fidgety on poorly surfaced roads, and let's face it, there's plenty of those around. We'd also lean to smaller wheel offerings to keep road noise down. As you'd expect, safety credentials are excellent, with all models getting six airbags and an automatic emergency braking system as standard. To upgrade from Saloon to Avant costs £1,400. Whether it's worth it or not is dependent on whether it suits your needs and indeed whether you actually want an A4 in the first place. If you want the most comfortable car in the class, the C-Class still just has the edge, while the XC and 3 Series are both more fun to drive. And all three come with a three-year unlimited mileage warranty, whereas Audi stops at 60,000 miles. The A4's wealth of technology is also a bit misleading because a lot of it is optional. Take the SatNav for example. It comes as standard on the BMW 3 Series, but it's £550 on the Audi. However, Audi does fight back with some of the lowest lease prices. For us though, for a car like this, we still prefer the BMW 3 Series. 
but do you agree with us? Tell us in the comments below. And before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe to the Telegraph Cars YouTube channel by clicking here and to read in-depth reviews of the A4's competition and other new cars on the market, visit the Telegraph Cars website by clicking here.